Right now, we're learning much more about the parasailing tragedy in the Florida Keys that killed a mother and injured two children. The boater watched it all unfold in horror and raced to try to help the victims. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live in Marathon with what she has learned. Christina. And you are about to learn more from this eyewitness about their absolutely heroic and valiant attempt to make a rescue. All of this unfolding yesterday, just beyond where I'm joining you live right now. It's the start of the old seven mile bridge, but state investigators saying a mom did lose her life. Two of the children she was with were hurt when their parasol just collided right into this bridge. This video captures the heartbreaking incident. State investigators say a mother from Illinois and her two children collided into the old seven mile bridge near Pigeon Key in a parasailing accident just before 530 Monday afternoon. According to Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, the mom died from her injuries. Both children were hurt. John Cowling was on his boat nearby, writing on Facebook, quote, never take life for granted. Things can change in a second. A storm, he says, kicked up winds in a matter of seconds. Then the line connected to the parasail snapped. He rushed over, working with his passengers, he says, to cut them free from their harnesses. One of those passengers, he writes on Facebook, resuscitating one of the boys as they raced to meet first responders at Sunset Grill. A Monroe County Sheriff's Office incident report details a harrowing account of the efforts to try and help. One boy, conscious and alert, the mom unconscious, and another small boy, approximately nine years old, was unconscious and barely breathing breathing on the dock. Later flown to Nicholas Children's Hospital, staff gently guiding him in on a gurney. Unknown is how he's doing tonight. Paracel company Lighthouse Paracel, which on their website boasts a quote, spotless safety record over the phone, a co-owner telling us they are devastated by what happened. Absolutely tragic, so heartbreaking. This incident is being investigated by FWC and the U.S. Coast Guard. Reporting live for you from Marathon, Florida, Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.